Eleven German soldiers near Kunduz in northern Afghanistan came under intense small arms fire from insurgents during a foot patrol. The 5th Battalion, 158th Aviation Regiment, flew in to help. On, on April 2nd, uh, I was busy, uh, both assisting and protecting my medic. What they found was much more than they expected. And I also saw in the beginning that they got fired at, uh, from small arms and RPG fire. They tried to land on the hot landing zone for the first time, they didn't quite get it, so they turned around and I already thought, oh my god, they're leaving us. They just turned around to get a second uh, flight in, and this time they landed. Although on the second flight in, they received the small arms fire from the city, and two RPGs just passed by 10 meters um, under the belly of the helicopter. The whole day, our, our intent was to either uh, get those guys out or die trying. Uh, giving up wasn't an, wasn't an option, leaving wasn't a choice. That resolve made all the difference on that day. Sadly, three Germans later died of their wounds, but it could have been much worse. Even our doctors said if the helicopters wouldn't have been, three more would have been dead, for sure. For their bravery, 14 U.S. soldiers are awarded the Gold Cross, Germany's equivalent of the Medal of Honor. Only a few of these have ever been awarded, and then never to a foreign military. Uh, I, my thought was just for the, the wounded soldiers uh, and for their families and for their quick recovery. In the eyes of the German soldiers whose lives they saved, there's even more to it than even the rarest award. Uh, pride, uh, humility. Right here we are now joined and fighting together as brothers. And it, and it doesn't matter if it's an American or Italian or whoever next to me, he is still my comrade and he's the one I'm gonna defend. From Kunduz, Afghanistan, I'm Sergeant First Class Michael Hauk, ISAF Public Affairs. I'm going to die.